Hello and welcome. In this video, we will be looking at the admin dashboard created on the Spree Commerce platform. As we know products form up the core of any e-commerce store. So in this video, we will be looking specifically on the product section of this panel. For this demo, we have created a dummy store and we will log in into the admin panel using admin credentials. Once logged in, navigate to the product section on the left hand side. Once you click on it you'll get the following options. Products. Options types. Properties. Prototypes. Taxonomies. Taxons. Let's begin with products. In products, admin can view, create, edit, or delete the products from the list. If you click on edit, you will see all the information like item's name, slug, master price, cost price, product description, cost currency, available on, discontinue on, promotable. If you scroll down a bit you will get to see its master SKU. Also, the variance in the same SKU, shipping category, tax category, taxons, option types, meta title, meta keywords, and meta description. Let's understand these fields by adding a product. To add a new product, click on the new product option. Add name. For example, we want to create a listing for a smartwatch of a particular brand or make. It's SKU prototype. The prototype is basically a product blueprint that can be used to quickly group a similar product. We will look at this option later in the video. The master price. The date on which this product will be available on. And shipping category. Once you click on create, your product listing is created. And on the next page, add all the remaining information. This information includes cost price, the price at which you got the product, cost currency, the currency in which you have set your price. By default US dollars is assigned in this field. Discontinue on, the date on which you want to discontinue the product. Product weight, height, width, depth. Tax category. Select under which category your product falls in for taxation. Taxons. Here you define where your product should be listed. Option type. Here you mention the option types available for your product. Then meta title, keywords and description for SEO purposes. When done click on update to update the product details. Next, go to variants. Add a new variant for the product by clicking on new variant. Add variant information, for the option types that you had selected in product details. For this example, we are going to add data for the Selwar field. And the shape field. It's SKU, and if there's any particular date on which you want to discontinue the product, once done click on create and a variant of your product will be added here. If there's a need you can add more variants of a product here. Next in images. You can add product images for each variant that you have specified. For this example, we have variants called shape and cellular. As you can see from the drop down menu. So we will go ahead and add images for the listed variants. Once done you can see the images uploaded for the respective variants here. Next is the product properties. Here we add the product properties that we want to show in brief. Here assign a name to property and its value. You can add more fields of property by clicking on add product properties. Or you select the defined properties from prototypes. Which we will see later in the video. Once done, click on the update to update the product properties. Once all this information is added you can see the product page by clicking on the preview product. As you can see, product images, its variants. The product properties that we filled in are in the details section. And to the left is your product description. Next is your stock option. Here you can update the stock quantity according to the stock location and the product variant. Once you add all the information, click on add stock to update the information. Below you can get a glimpse at variant and its stock quantity and location information. Back into the products section. Here you can edit the product listing by clicking on the edit option and you will be taken to the product details page. Here you can update all the details. Next, let's assume you want to clone a particular product listing. You can do this by simply clicking on the clone option on the right hand side. And a clone of the product will be created. And in case you want to delete the particular product listing, you can do it by clicking on the delete option. This completes the product listing process. Now let's move to option types. 
Option types are a way to help distinguish products in your store from one another. They are particularly useful when you have many products that basically belong to same category, but differ in characteristics that can vary, such as color, size, or shape. To create a new option, click on New Option Type. Here you mention the name of the option and presentation which means what the name of option will be shown to the user. Once you click on Create you assign the values to the same. Since we create a option type for screen size, we will create two fields in name. This this the name of option that will shown to the user and display information such as screen size. Here we have listed two sizes large and small and their respective sizes. Click on Update and you option type is now available to be associated with a particular product. Next we move on to Product Properties. These products properties are shown in our Details section on Product page. As shown in the earlier video. Here you can add custom properties that can be created, via clicking on the Add Product Properties. Here you need to name of property and what name shall be displayed to user on Product page. Once done click on Create and your custom property is added to the list. The same will be available while adding product properties. To edit any property you can click on Edit option on the right. And in case you want to delete any property, simply click on Delete. Next, Prototypes. Prototypes helps you create a set of pre-defined product options types and properties. This comes in handy when you want to list a new batch of products with similar product properties and option types. This saves you the hassle to add this information from scratch. As you can see, when we click on edit option on in the prototype, you can see the name of prototype. It's selected properties, option types and taxons. To create a new prototype click on new prototype and add in the relevant information and click create. The same will be created and visible in Prototype section. Next is Taxonomies. Taxonomies are the Spree system's approach to category trees. The heading of a tree is called Taxonomy. Any child branches are called Taxons. Taxons themselves can have their own branches. Here too we have clicked on Edit to view the tree for category. As you can see the head of the tree is Category and its child branches. To create a new taxonomy, click on New Taxonomy. Add Name and click create to add taxon left click on folder icon and click add name the taxon and click update to edit the name simply left click on the folder icon and rename next in taxon you arrange the order of products in a particular branch you can select the branch you want to order in the drop down list once selected you can see the products Simply click on arrow icon and drag them around to rearrange the order. Any changes made are instantly saved. Concluding, this how your product section in admin dashboard of Spree works. Thank you for watching this video until the end. Stay tuned as we will be uploading more videos on other parts of Spree's admin panel. If you have queries about building a Spree commerce store, visit our website w3villa.com or send an email at contact at the rate w3villa.com.